Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page www.wingsofarrow.in. Today we are going to see few solved solved question from propulsion. A rocket has an initial mass of 150 kg after operating for durations of 10 seconds and its final mass is 50 kg. If the acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 m per second square and the thrust produced by the rocket is 19.62 kN, the specific impulse of the rocket is 400 second, 300 second, 200 second and 100 second. Here comes the solution. Given data, so the initial mass is given as 150 kg, then the final mass is 50 kg and the duration was 10 seconds and acceleration due to gravity was given as 9.81 and the total thrust is 19.62 kN. Now from there we can find out the change in mass that is 150 minus 50 so we can get as 100 kg. Now let's find the mass flow rate. We know that the change in mass by time we can get the mass flow rate of this particular durations. So we are recalling the formula specific impulse as in the question they have asked recalling that we know that the thrust by mass flow rate into g but simply substituting the values in the concern formula we can get that 19.62 into 10 power 3 because from the kilonewton we are converting into newton into m dot we found as 10 and g is 9.81 so we get as 200 second so our right option is 200 second option c next question an aircraft with a turbojet engine flies at a velocity of 100 meter per second if the jet velocity Z exhaust velocity is 300 meter per second. The propulsive efficiency of the engine, assuming a negligible fuel air ratio, is 0.33. Second option 0.50. Third 0.67. And the last 0.80. So let's see the solution. Here are the given data that is initially it was 100 meter per second and the jet exhaust velocity that is VE is 300 meter per second and we know that the propulsive efficiency equals to eta PR equals to 2 sigma by 1 plus sigma. Now what is sigma? Sigma is that VI by VE that is the initial velocity by the exhaust or jet velocity or flight velocity we can rather say so by we know the sigma equals to 100 by 300 that is called a speed ratio equals to 0 0.33 this value we are going to substitute in the equation 1 and we get that eta p equals to 2 into 0 0.33 and by 1 plus of 0 0.33 we get as 0 0.503 so approximately eta value comes as 0 0.5 so our right option is option b that is 0 0.5 Next question, an aircraft with a turboprop engine produces a thrust of 500 newton and flies at 100 meter per second. If the propeller efficiency is 0 0.5, the shaft power produced by the engine is option A, 550 kilowatt, B, 100 kilowatt and C, 125 kilowatt and the D, 500 kilowatt. Let's see the solution. Here comes the given data. The thrust which is produced is 500 Newton and the flight speed is 100 meter per second and the efficiency is 0 0.5. And from this we know that propulsive efficiency can be described as thrust power by shaft power. In this given question we have to find the shaft power. So let's see the formula. What is mean by thrust power? that is thrust into the velocity by the shaft power. So we know all the formulas that is SP we can find that T by VI T into VI by eta P. So we know the T is 500 Newton and VI is 100 meter per second and eta P is 0.5. Substituting those values in the given formula and we can get that 100 kilowatt as a 
shaft power of this given problem so our right option is option b that is 100 kilowatt next question an axial compressor that generates a stagnation pressure ratio of 4 operate with an inlet and exit stagnation temperatures of 300 kelvin and 480 kelvin respectively if the ratio of specific heats is 1.4 the isentropic efficiency of the compressor is option a 0.94 option b 0.81 option c 0.72 and option d 0.63 let's check the solution here are the given datas that is a compressor pressure ratio is given 4 and the T1 is the initial inlet is 300 Kelvin and the exit is 480 Kelvin and the gamma value is 1.4 that is an isentropic process and for this you have to remember this formula for axial compressor that is eta c equals to T1 rho gamma minus 1 by gamma minus 1 by T2 minus T1 this is a general formula you have to memorize this formula and simply all the given data are given in the question and you can give that substitute in the given problem and we can get that it as equals to 0.81 and from here you can derive the right answer is option B 0.81 next question an axial compressor rotor with a 50 percentage degree of reaction operate with an axial velocity of 200 meter per second the absolute flow angle at an angle inlet of the rotor is 22 degree with a reference to the axial direction if the axial velocity is assumed to remain constant throughout the rotor the magnitude of the relative velocity in meter per second at the rotor exit is accurate to one decimal places in this given question we don't have any options we have to calculate and get and from this we can understand we don't have any negative marks for this particular question let's see the solution so here are the given data that is in a particular question they have given it is an axial compressor so make a note of it and they have given the degree of reaction is 50 percentage that means that capital R equals to 1 by 2 and the axial velocity is 200 meter per second then the rotor angle inlet angle is 22 degree and from there we have to find the relative velocity so for that you have to remember this when the R is 50 percentage the alpha 1 will be equal to the beta 2 equals to 22 degree that means rotor at the point 1 equals to the blade at point 2 equals to 22 degree ct1 equals to wt2 this is another conditions please make a note of it so recall this velocity triangle diagram from there we can find our desired thing so this is our desired locations that is CA, WT2, W2 and we have to find beta 2. We know beta 2 is 22 and we know the CA is constant throughout this process. So we can derive that cos beta 2 equals to CA by W2. Can I say as that angle is 90 degree. So we can substitute the values that is CA by cos beta 2 we can get w2 and we see is 200 and divided by cos 22 and we can get w2 that is a relative velocity at the exit is 215.71 meter per second and as per the answer ranges from 215.0 to 216.5 meter per second here comes the next questions the relative velocity of the air leaving a straight radial impeller of a centrifugal compressor is 100 meter per second if the impeller tip speed is 200 meter per second for a slip free operation the absolute velocity in meter per second at the impeller exit is accurate to one decimal place so here comes the given data that is radial impeller 
that is W2 equals to 100 meter per second and tip speed for an this compressor is U equals to 200 meter per second and from here we what you have to find we have to find the absolute velocity so for this kind of questions we have very necessary to remember the velocity triangle diagram here comes the velocity triangle diagram so from this velocity triangle diagram we can determine the tan theta equals to w2 by u so we know the w2 and u so we can get the value of theta for this value of theta is 26.56 degree so from here we can we find that cos theta equals to u by c2 so now we know the theta value from there we can find the c2 that is our absolute velocity what is our required and question so by simplifying we get that c2 equals to 223.58 meter per second and for this question the value ranges from 222.0 to 225.0 and where the answer lies in between it and the real answer is 223.58 meter per second thank you for watching this video if you have further inquiry or requested video drop down to our mail wings of arrow at the rate gmail.com don't forget to subscribe for more updates for the time being take care stay blessed inspired and fly high